Hey guys, my name is Matthew Yakov, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a service VNF. So first of all, you need to deploy the Flex VNF uh, in a regular flavor. And in this case, I will use it as the gateway router for all of my branches that will try to reach to the internet. So to make this configuration of this service VNF, we need to create it with three interfaces. So one of the interfaces is going to be the management interface. So it's the one that director will be using to connect to the uh, to the Flex VNF, to the service VNF, second connected to my local internet network, and the third one connected to the management network once again, but in this case only for purposes to access internet. Um, okay, now um, you can see here it will highlight information, so Ethernet 0 is connected to the management network, Ethernet 1 is connected to the management network as well, and Ethernet 2 is connected to the internet network to this one. Let's go to the Versa director and actually do the configuration. Okay, so to configure service VNF, you need to go to the connectors, uh, local, and first of all, you need to create the resource pool. So in the resource pool, we need to provide the management IP address, the very first interface of your service VNF uh, or Ethernet zero. So let's see what is it going to be in my case. Okay, and in my case, IP address is this one. So 10.40.113.251. Uh, now let's get back here and add this device. So server name, I know, router one, IP address, this one. Okay, second thing, we need to create the local organization, local organization used for that device only. So don't confuse it with the organization that are going to be in the organizations menu on the top. It's a different, this one is used only for service VNF. So we are adding it. And I don't know, let's call it local. Uh, first thing, and now we need to create or add at least one network. So let's say it's going to be uh, external network. Uh, and in the resources, we're adding that this device in the resource pool that we just created should uh, should be in this new local organization. Okay, so local organization with one resource was added. So next step is to go to the organizations and to add that sub organization to the organization versa. Okay, so let's go here, uh, CMS organizations, and we can see we can add it here. Let's click OK. And we are ready to start deployment. Now, um, this is probably the only case when you need to go to the appliances menu and add device manually from here. So let's add create appliance. Uh, select type as service VNF, organization, uh, it's going to be a Versa, oh, sorry, bare metal, Versa, uh, let's name it as router1, solution to your, doesn't really matter, uh, this one, this one now. So the device is going to be the router one from this CMS organization. Next thing, in the networks, the system will request you to add at least one network. So I'm going to show you what will happen if we'll click OK here. So we click OK and it shows us, please select at least one network. So one network that I'm going to be adding external network. In my case, VNI00 is going to be the uh, the port Ethernet one that's connected to the management network to our reverse internal. So let's add some IP address there, and the IP address is going to be 10.40.113.250 in my case. Um, okay, and plus services. Which services do we want to run on the 
uh, on the uh, Flex VNF device on the service VNF. So if we want to enable something right away, like for example, CGNet or IPsec or next generation firewall, we can add it from there. So I would enable, uh, I will enable CGNet to configure it later. Okay, and let's click OK. So the creation started. And actually, if we will look uh, on the CLI of that device, you'll see that now we have the global organization, uh, the interface 113 to 40, but and actually they might be in the overlapping network. So now let's go to the uh, configuration of that device in here, the appliances, and let's do some tweaking to make it workable. So first thing that you would need to do is to create a second interface. So the second interface that is going to be connected to the uh, internet network. So we already have interface that's connected to the management network. That is going to be an external one. And let's create another one. So can I zero one? So that one was zero zero. This one is zero one uh, with unit zero. And IP address, uh, my case, this is a 172.16.10 network. So 172.16.10.250 for consistency. OK, and OK. Uh, next one, let's create another network. So in this case, let's call it internal because it's going to be internal, internally connected to my setup and add this interface. And now, very important part, you must create virtual router. If you will try to configure everything in the global routing instance, a lot of things will not work. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. It just won't work. So the rule of thumb, always create a virtual router for all of your purposes, for all of the routing that you're doing through the uh, service VNF. Uh, to add the virtual router, we would need to go to the build uh, menu. So in here on the top right, you would need to click build. Now let's click add. Uh, the name of the VRF. Service enough. Anyhow, so we want to add two networks to this virtual router one and two. Next thing, we need to go to the organization limits. We have a verse organization uh, that exists on this device. And in this organization, we need to identify that internal and external network will. Uh, traffic is belonging to this organization. Second, we need to add available routing instance service, uh, service VNF and owned routing instance. And in the services, let's add CGNAT as available for that organization. Now let's click OK. And let's click Commit. OK, Commit successful. If now we will go to the CLI and run the same command on show interfaces brief, we see that interface VNI00 and VNI01 uh, belong to the VRF service VNF. They have one and second uh, IP addresses. Next, uh, let's create a static route uh, that will be pointing to the default gateway. So the route 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, interface do not attach to any interface, but the gateway is 1040, 0, 1, in my case. And let's check connectivity. So ping 8888, routing instance, service VNF. Okay, we have connectivity. 
Next step is to configure the NAT. To configure NAT, we need to go to the Services tab. In the CGNAT section, we need to create a pool first. So let's call it external, for example. IP address. Uh, we will add the external IP address of the interface, so 10.40.113. Uh, 250 slash 32 is the only one to which we should uh, um, um, masquerade or translate all the uh, addresses now. So just to show you that 113 250 is um, is this interface, the one that's connected to the management network in my case. And the routing instance is service VNF. Let's click OK. OK, now, um, oh, actually, before I forget, um, in this external pool that I created, we also need to specify the source port and allocate source port randomly. So when we translate the source port to some external ports, we should randomly allocate them. OK. And now let's create the rule, um, rule one, match everything that is going from the internal zone or internal IP addresses. In my case, it's 172.16.10.0. So 172.16.10.0 slash 24. Um, and the action is to do network address port translation using this external pool. OK, so let's click OK. And that is configured. That's it. So we are ready to use the service VNF. I hope this was informative for you. And thank you for watching.